Hello everybody. Got a stack of comics in the mail today. Um, I believe this is uh, 25 comics um, plus one comic that was from last time. Uh, off the same guy that I bought that last biggest stack of comics off of. The guy that's been giving me the good deals. Uh, I paid... What did I pay? $25, so it was a dollar a book. Plus uh, $7 shipping and handling. So $32 total. And there's some pretty good stuff in here. Uh, a couple key books and one um, pretty big key. One pretty big key. And there's some D DC, uh, Marvel. Uh, instead of just telling you, how about I just show you? Um, the Flash 251. And I'll start off with the DC stuff. 251, The Flash, newsstand. Kamandi, The Last Boy on Earth, issue number 19. I really like that cover. It's a really cool cover. The Shadow, issue number 8. These Shadow books was heating up there for a little while, especially issue number 1. Everybody was looking for issue 1 through 5 for some reason. I don't know what the story was behind that, but everybody was after the shadow books there for a while. Especially number one. One through five is what everybody was wanting. Action Comics 464, Superman vs. Piledriver. Pretty cool cover. We got a Silver Age World's Finest, Batman and Superman. World's Finest 164. This has a first appearance in it. Um, that Jean, uh, Janina, Mistress of Malice. This is her first appearance. Another Silver Age World's Finest, issue 193. Pretty cool cover. The Breaking of Batman and Superman. Huh. It looks interesting. Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, issue 120. This issue has a little bit of value to it for some reason. I'm not quite sure. A lot of great copies of this going for $10 and up. Jimmy Olsen, Superman's Pal, Silver Age, issue number 13. This book also has some value to it. Going between uh, from uh, fifteen to twenty dollars and up and low grade. Here's a DC key issue. Enemy Ace number fifty eight. Showcase presents number fifty eight. Enemy Ace. Uh, Silver Age. This is the second Enemy Ace issue, and the fifth appearance of Enemy Ace. That's what makes this a key. Uh, low grade copies are going between $25 and $30 and up. Fifth appearance of Enemy Ace. Got some value to it. Really cool cover, too. Now, on to the Marvel stuff. You know me, like I try to start with um, lower grade stuff or lower value stuff and then keep it going to the higher value stuff with enemy ace being the higher value one out of those books and then the marble stuff will start from the lower value to the big key amazing adventures world of worlds issue number 39 starring kill raven this has a minor first appearance in it too can't remember who though off the top of my head the Savage She-Hulk, issue number 9. Savage She-Hulk issues have been picking up for a while. Everybody after that Savage She-Hulk issue number 1. Which back uh, back in the 90's you could get that book for next to nothing. Early 2000's you could get that book for next to nothing. Godzilla, King of Monsters, issue number 5. Uh, Godzilla, King of Monsters books have been picking up in value. They've been getting hot for some reason. I think a new show has been announced or something. So they've been picking up value. A lot of people have been on them one day. Marvel Spotlight. Son of Satan. 
Marvel Spotlight issue number 16. Uh, this has a few first appearances in it, but nothing major. Uh, Son of Satan's also heating up right now. Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts, issue number four. With a really just a just a sick, sick cover. That cover is just awesome. I like that cover a lot. Doctor Strange meets death. Mr. Death. Captain America, issue 286, with a classic Deathlock cover. I believe I already have this issue. These all came in a, in a bundle. You had to buy them all in order to get them. And uh, I think his starting price on it was something like $9.95. And then I sent him. He always says make an offer. So don't ever, ever feel afraid to make an offer on eBay. If they have make an offer, always make an offer. And always make it lower than their starting price. Unless it's some kind of a big key issue or whatever. Um, so I made an offer for $15. And um, he came back with $30. And then I made him an offer of... 25 and then we settled on 25 plus seven dollar shipping Conan the Barbarian issue number 30 um, Inspired by Gary B I've been um, Looking to get these older Conan issues. I've been watching his channel. He showed all them Conan issues a Conan issue a day and then inspired me because I always loved the, the older Conan covers I like this one's just a great cover um, I've been wanting issue number 7, and I got my eye on an issue number 7 and a 19 at an ex extremely good price that I'm hoping to pick up. I've been wanting that number 7 for a while. I've been wanting that number 7 before I even got my issue number 2. It's the first appearance of Set. And I've been, it's the first appearance of uh, somebody at Toth Amon or something like that. I believe it's his first appearance too, but I really want it because it's the first appearance of Set. The Snake God. Daredevil number 98, Emmy Unit Comics, will like the Daredevils. He really likes Daredevil, well they really like Daredevil and I like Daredevil as well. So here's Daredevil 98. Been hard to find a pre-100 pre and uh, around issue 100 of Daredevil for a good price. Here's Daredevil 113. This is a key issue, it's the first appearance of... Uh, uh, Death Dealer or Death Adder. Can't remember exactly the name. This issue has a bit of value to it. Between $20 and up in lower grades. This is a pretty decent low grade issue. Probably about a 4, 4 or 5, something like that. Maybe even a 5. Uh, Giant Size Fantastic Four, number 3. The first appearance of the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse. Not Apocalypse, it's Four Horsemen of Apocalypse, but the original Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Uh, Giant Size Fantastic Four number six. This reprints Fantastic Four Annual number six, which has the first appearance of Annihilus and the first appearance of Franklin Richards, which I've been badly wanting to get, but it's a very expensive book, even in low grade. Um, I didn't even know that's what this was until I started looking at it. So I'm very happy to have this because at least now I have the story, if nothing else. On to some Spider-Man books. Amazing Spider-Man 147. Amazing Spider-Man 155. A lot going on on that cover. Who is the most incredible killer of all? And who done it? Amazing Spider-Man 175. I've been meeting this issue. This book has a bit of value to it because it uh, has the Punisher appearance in it. Vengeance of the Hitman. I have the issue. I believe that is right before this 174 that also has the Punisher in it. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 200. Origin retold in this, I believe. Spider-Man vs. the Burglar. I already have this issue, so I'll be putting that up on eBay. 
Here's one of the key issues. This was uh, supposed to be in that last lock, a lot of books that I got off of him, but um, he forgot to send it, and I sent him a message asking if he had it or if he could find it. And uh, thankfully, he did. This is Defenders number 17, the first appearance of the Wrecking Crew. Um, this has some value to it. Um, this one's really beat up, but I'm hoping to, uh, because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I got this one. About 95% sure. So I'm hoping to take this one and sell it to get the money to get issue number 18, which is the other, sorry about that car, which is the other, like, first appearance of the Defenders, or the Wrecking Crummy. I want to get that. Um, I've seen a low grade issue had sold in the sold section. It had sold, it was at the list of $19, and it sold, uh, I assume that it sold at like 15 so that's what I'm hoping to get out of this between ten and fifteen dollars. It's really beat up, but um, if I can get that ten or fifteen dollars, I can put a little bit more with it and get that issue number eighteen I've been wanting. And here is the book of the day: Adventure into Fear with the Man Thing, issue number nineteen. First appearance of Howard the Duck. This is a pretty big key, and it's uh, really hot right now. A lot of people are bidding on this book. A lot of people are bidding on this book and watching it on eBay. Like every single listing has a bunch of watchers, a bunch of bids. Um, I've seen really low grade issues of this going for $70 and up. And this is a pretty, pretty solid copy. I would say this is probably a good mid grade. Uh, probably between a 5 and a 6. Maybe a six five. Um, if a, if it had a good press and a good clean, it, it could probably reach six five for sure. I would say, or at least a six zero. That's a that's a really nice copy. Uh, the pages are a little dark, but yeah, that's a really nice copy, especially for the price I paid for it. Right? But yeah, it's something I might. Um, might end up getting pressed and cleaned maybe because it's a valuable book and it's quite an expensive issue this one's probably worth over a hundred dollars and I don't have very many books that are in that price range so I might look into getting it um, pressed and cleaned I won't get it graded because I just don't get books graded that I only have one copy of um, but yeah really nice Really happy to have it. First appearance of Howard the Duck. I got the second appearance of Howard the Duck. Now I got his first appearance. I've been getting lucky on these uh, on these pickups, man. I don't know how, but I'm glad because I've sold a lot of comics really cheap in my life. And a lot of good comics. First appearance of Wonder Man, stuff like that. First appearance of Blob. Um, books that I really wish that I had still, but don't. So, I'm just glad that I'm getting some good books back into my collection at a good price. Because I would never be able to afford this otherwise. But yeah, guys, I'm happy you watched and uh, happy I got to share. Um, leave a comment if you would like. Good luck hunting for those collectibles. And until next time, guys, take care.